Right, so I basically got sick of what Windows looked like. I got sick of using the same old theme and not having that much of a customization on my particular builder windows. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to achieve this sort of look. So we've got our Chrome looking a bit different. We've got these nice icons and different bars and things like that. We've got the change to the library icons here. Start menu is a bit different. I have tweaked this a little bit to get the sort of slightly more Linux look to it. And we're using a dock at the bottom. All right, so in this video, I'm basically gonna use a VM to show you how to achieve this. And some parts of it are optional, of course, you can stop wherever you want. Uh, I will say now, before we jump into it, you must be on, if you're gonna use the files I've supplied, the Windows 10 Creators Update version 17 or free. And you can check that by right clicking your start menu and going to system, okay? And it should say version 17 or free here. If you've got any other version number, you will need a different well, there's a program I'm going to use called UX Theme Patcher, and you'll need a different version. Okay, you can just Google that to get it. But if you're on the Creators Update, you can use the files that I've provided. Okay, so we'll just jump right in. Um, it should be safe if you follow all the steps, but just be aware that this is going to make some system changes. So I would make some form of system backup or restore point at least before you continue. Okay, so we'll just jump right into it now. Right then, so if you are on Creators Update, you took a backup, you've downloaded the provided files, by all means you can go and find the Arc theme, the Arc icons, the UX patcher yourself, and for a different version if you want. But I provide the files for Creators Update because I just thought one nice place to go for everything. Okay, so it's in a zipped file, so you just need to right click that and do extract all or use 7-zip if you've got it, and just get them extracted. So let's just give that a second. Now, what I would suggest is before we start, just open your start menu, type restore and create a restore point. Um, all you need to do is actually create one. I don't really need to because I'm on a VM and I can just roll it back. Okay, but I would create some form of restore point or a system image backup before you start because this does make some system file changes. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna run in this theme folder is the Ultra UX Theme Patcher 3.2.1. Okay, now this one is specific for Windows 10 17 or free creators update. So if you're not on that version, which I showed you how to check earlier on, don't be running this, go and find the version for your iteration of Windows, okay? If you are, however, let's just jump in and run it. Okay, it's just a case of next and tick the boxes and whatnot. Again, it's gonna warn you that you need to be on that version or it could cause issues. We are, so let's click install. Next next and i'm going to reboot manually later because we can do a little bit more before the reboot okay so what we need to do now is in this arc folder here if you open that up we're going to select everything in that folder right click and copy and if you go to this pc into your c drive into windows find the resources folder go into themes right click and paste Press do this for all current items and continue. And that's the theme loaded in there ready, excellent. Now what we'll do is we'll do that reboot. Okay, so just give me a second to reboot the VM. Right, we're back. So what we can do now then, if we open up our C drive again, go into Windows, Resources, Themes, and what you want to do is find one of these arc themes that you like the most. So I'm, I'm just going to, for now, double click arc dark. All right, and then click open, and it should set your theme. There we go. It'll change everything you wallpapered a lot. Now, personally, I'm not a fan of this mouse cursor. If you are, you can skip this bit. If you're not, I have provided the polar cursor, which I've mentioned in a previous video. It's a cursor I really like. So if you open that up, there is blue, green, and red. Whichever color you want, or you can do it for all of them, right click the any file, a setup information file, and click install on the color you want. Click open. Yes, and it should set it up. So all we need to do now is go to the control panel. Okay, and if we look for mouse. Yeah, and then we want pointers. Drop this down and pick the polar cursor you've just installed. Apply, 
yes and okay and there we go that's a cursor i much prefer close that off so there's only one more thing to really do to get this theme to look a bit nicer which is to go into the arc icons folder and if you run the arc regular installer all right press yes click you accept next now you want to leave this on patch all files and click next yes you want to make a system restore point you might as well make another now this bit can take a while okay so just leave it be don't worry um, it does take a little bit of time i'm going to speed this up for the sake of the video right excellent that has finished applying the icons you'll see straight away your recycling bins changed some other folders have actually changed if you look in here this has all changed now again for some of you that's you might be happy with that with the icons and the and the theming to windows as you can see it also themes stuff like chrome as well if however you would like a bit more done you can actually use the pressure 2 dark theme i've supplied as that is quite a nice skin for steam which sort of matches this a bit more than the standard steam skin i'm not going to show you how to do that in this video it's a fairly simple process and there's guides online there's youtube videos for that already um, what I will show you how to do is get the sort of dock and taskbar theme I had before. Alright, so the dock I was using in that particular screenshot at the start um, was Object Dock. So that does cost, um, there is a free trial, uh, it's from Star Dock. Um, it's a fairly good dock, it's got a couple of niggles with Windows 10, it doesn't like the, the Metro apps that much, but it, it does work quite nicely. It looks a bit ghetto at first, but you can. Do a few things with it. Um, there's also Rocket Dock, which is is ancient but still works. It's been knocking about for for ages. Hasn't had support in a long time. It hasn't been updated for ages, but it does still work. You might be familiar with it. And there's a new one called Nexus Dock. It is okay. Not a huge fan of it myself, but it's for you to pick. Uh, personally, I'm going to use Object Dock and show you how I set that up. Right. So you've installed Rocket Dock. You just want to run through the start a 30 day trial. So I'll just quickly do that. Right, that's my 30 day free trial sorted. However, this is one of the few times I've seen this theme have a bit of a clash with colours. Okay, we'll just click finish on that. And you'll probably have something that looks a bit like this. So what we'll do before we set up the dock, we'll set up the taskbar. So I usually unlock the taskbar, drag it to the top, lock it again so it doesn't shift about. Then if you right click the taskbar and go to taskbar settings, uh, how I like to have it is use small icons, get you a little bit of extra screen space. Scroll down and then I like to have it on when taskbar is full for combining taskbar buttons so you get to see the full name of the item you've got open. That's pretty much it for that. But now we'll set up the dock then. So I don't want this dock up here and I want to change how this looks. So if you right click any of the widgets on the dock, go to settings and then settings again. And what you'll get is this window here. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the tab dock, so I'll remove dock and yes. Now in this dock, what I want to do is go to accessibility and make sure it's on regular. So that means that when I open a window, uh, let's just get something open. It'll go over underneath it, unless I hover down there, it'll come back on top. Okay. What I then want to do is click the effect and make sure we're on zoom effect. And you can just play with whatever you want or pick an effect you like. For me, it's zoom. Then we're going to click the style and color. I'm going to change the background and the background I like to use is the black ops once it loads there it is black ops click ok and then from here you can fiddle about with the transparency so i like to drag that quite high up just so i've got a little faded background you can change the running indicators so that's the little thing when you actually open something up i haven't got anything open so let's do that and at the moment it's a little tiny black triangle you can barely see so if you want to change that you just click uh where's it gone running indicators choose the running indicator and I like to use the white circle and then I hide it halfway down to get a sort of semicircle at the bottom. Click OK. Now the other thing we can do then is just click OK on that, close that, is actually modify what's on here. So if you don't want these docklets and stuff you just right click, remove entry, remove, get rid of the start menu one, remove, I like to have the bin, I don't like to have the clock, you can just drag it as well, yep. So what we'll do is we'll pin something like Chrome. So if you just open it up and you can right click and then pin this program to the dock and now it'll stay there forever. I also don't like the text above them. So what you can do is right click, go to settings, 
and go to edit this shortcut and just delete the title. Same with the bin. So doc, op uh, doc options setting. Oh, sorry. Edit this icon. Delete the name. Okay. And now you get sort of just the nice zoomed icons without any text. So if you just want to add whatever you want to the bottom of that, and that's pretty much it, you you set up. You've got the theme how you like. You might have tried a different dock. Um, you might end up going on DeviantArt and trying different themes, but for the most part, we, we've configured a sort of nicer looking Windows 10. Um, if you need any help or anything goes wrong, you can fire a comment. I'll try and get back to you. I'll try and give you a hand. Um, if you do find any other themes you like or any other good themes that you maybe come across, by all means, stick them in the comments. We'll take a look at them. But I hope that's helped. If it has, just you know, hit like, maybe hit subscribe, and then uh, I'll probably see you in a different video with a bit of luck.